Hi, welcome back. I hope you've had a blessed Easter weekend. And yeah, it's persecution time again. It never ends. It is literally ceaseless. Please do remember these people and others that I speak about in your prayers. I'm just going to jump into it because some of them are, are more difficult than others to get through. So hopefully we'll get there. Okay, so rebels leave beheaded bodies in the streets of uh, Mozambique town. Fierce fighting for control of Mozambique's strategic northern town of Parma left beheaded bodies strewn in the streets with heavily armed rebels battling army, police and a private military outfit in several locations. Thousands were estimated to be missing from the town, which held around 70,000 people before the attack began uh, the previous week. The Islamic State group claimed responsibility for the attack, saying it was carried out by the Islamic State Central Africa province, not to be confused with ISWAP, which is the Western African province, according to the site extremist monitoring group. The rebel claim said the insurgents now control Palmer's banks, government offices, factories and army barracks and that more than 55 people, including Mozambican army troops, Christians and foreigners, were killed. It didn't provide further detail on the dead. So earlier in the month, the United States declared Mozambique's rebels to be a terrorist organization and announced it had sent military specialists to help train the Mozambican military to combat them. Palma is the center of a multi-billion dollar investment by Total, which is the France-based oil and gas company. Um, and that multi-billion dollar investment is to extract liquefied natural gas from offshore sites in the Indian Ocean. The gas deposits are estimated to be among the world's largest and the investment by Total and others is reported to be $20 billion, one of the largest in Africa. The battle for Palmer forced Total to evacuate its large fortified site a few miles outside of the city. So according to uh, Lionel Deek, who is director of the Deek Advisory Group, the fighting has spread across the town and a private military um, company, that's the ones reporting it, have said that the uh, Mozambique police helped, uh, they assisted each other in fighting the rebels. There is fighting in the streets, in pockets across the town, they told the Associated Press. Uh, the Deke group has several helicopter gunships in Palmer, which have been used to rescue trapped civilians and to fight the rebels. Uh, the guy who runs the company has basically said that those rescued were taken to Total's fortified site on the southern, southern African countries, a Fungi Peninsula, where chartered flights flew many south to Pemba, the capital of Cabo Delgado province. And you must have, well, you don't, not must have, but you may remember me mentioning that province. The rebels are well armed with AK-47 automatic rifles, RPD and PKM machine guns and heavy mortars, it's been reported. This attack is not a surprise. We've been expecting Palmer to be whacked the moment the train stopped and the fighting season started, which is now, uh, said Lionel Deke. They've been preparing for this. They've had enough time to get their ducks in a row and they've had, they have a notch up in their ability and they're using uh, their mortars. There have been lots of beheadings, I read. Right up on day one, our guys saw the drivers of trucks bringing rations to Palmer. Their bodies were by the trucks. Their heads were off. Um, so it's not going to be easy, it seems, for the Mozambican government to regain control of Palmer. And without control of Palmer, Total's operations are jeopardised, say the analysts. This is kind of a side issue, although it's the most important one for governments and uh, investors. But no matter the amount of money, it's not worth the beheading of human beings. Espe not especially Christians, but yeah, that's my area of concern, is Christians are being killed amongst this um, mayhem, what it sounds like. So there have been similar uh, struggles 
um, and these rebels have seized other ports and cities in the past. It's un unbelievable. Um, and a UN spokesman, uh, Stefan Dujaric, condemned the violence, which he said has reportedly killed dozens, including some trying to flee a hotel where they'd taken shelter. And he refers to those trapped at the Amarula Hotel who tried to escape in a convoy of 17 vehicles. Doesn't sound like a few people to me. Um, and unfortunately, only seven vehicles made it to the beach uh, where seven people were subsequently killed. Some in the other vehicles fled into the dense uh, tropical jungle and were later rescued, thankfully. So the, con the continuation of this situation, I mean, the situation seems to be degenerating, basically. You've got foreign um, states and organisations wading in, and yet it seems to be, yeah, just, I don't know. I don't know how these people get away with it. Okay, so the insurgents began as a few bands of disaffected and unemployed young Muslim men, I read. I don't know if that's a small violin moment. I'm not sure. Um, they now likely number in the thousands, according to experts. The attack on Palmer is a game changer, I read, in that the rebels have changed the narrative, said one expert who returned from Palmer earliest, earlier this month. So this isn't, despite what you may read elsewhere, and according to this expert, it's not um, just a bunch of disorganised youths. It's a trained and determined force that has captured and held one town and is now sustaining a battle for a very strategic centre. Um, and this expert speaks on the condition of anonymity because of the sensitivity of visiting the region. They've called into question the entire LNG which is the liquefied natural gas investment, which was supposed to bring Mozambique major economic growth over many years. And if that is the case, then um, this is affecting not only the people of the town, but of course the people of the entire country. <sighs> known locally as Al-Shabaab, although no known affiliation with Somalia's jihadist rebels of the same name, the rebels' violence in Mozambique, a nation of 30 million is blamed for the deaths of more than 2,600 people and has caused an estimated 670,000 internally displaced peoples. So people being forced to leave their homes, their areas, etc. And what is an already bad humanitarian uh, situation is worsening, basically. And yeah, these people need our prayers. They need our help. It's It's been neglected for some time now, um, and it needs to come to the forefront. It, it has actually made the mainstream, as it were, this story. But you may remember the beheading of 50 people in Mozambique not so very long ago, maybe the month before last. So ongoing, degenerative, uh, humanitarian I don't know about crisis because I don't know if there's strict criteria for the use of that word, but certainly in layman's terms, it's a crisis. So I got there. It's just pretty distressing. And that's quite a lot of detail to process if you're not familiar, which I'm, I'm not necessarily with the specific uh, civil disputes and state disputes going on within each region that I cover. And yet the story remains that Christians have lost their lives. Of course, you know, the other people who have lost their lives are, you know, equally valid in terms of their worth as human beings. And yet I focus on Christ Christian persecution and Christian, the needless death of Christians. And also it seems to me by default, therefore, I spend a lot of my time reporting on ISWAP, ISCAP, Boko Haram, uh, Al Shabab, both versions, uh, although they're not, not affiliated, everybody's at pains to say all the time. Anyway, uh, I guess God can and does bring goodness out of evil. Please do pray for these people, regardless of whether they're saved or not. More specifically, please do pray for the persecutors. Pray for these uh, formerly, you know, disorganised youth group who now number in their thousands, who now are using mortars, 
who are now um, basically a proscribed terrorist organisation. Please do pray for them that they would be disabused of their strong delusion, which enables them to fight as if they're fighting for God's cause, which they're certainly not. Yeah, okay. Right, as I said, God bless you. I hope you've had a lovely Easter. I hope you continue to have a peaceful and tranquil week ahead. And yeah, God bless you. And I will see you this evening for a lecture or I will see you with more persecution shortly. All right, God bless you and take care.